So welcome again to another episode of Inside the Mind of. My name is Ken Ken Somera, and we're here to actually talk about a lot of things na makakatulong sa atin. Okay? And uh, we are joined by one of my good friends, George Ramos. Hi, George. What's up? <laughs> hey, good evening. Yeah, no? Yun. Hi, guys. So, guys, tune in. Um, ganito, ganito yung setup natin. Feel free to comment. Okay? We'll be talking about a lot of things. Ang mga topics na pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay giving feedback. Okay? Hindi lang normal na feedback. Siyempre, ang gusto natin, effective. Okay? Um, meron din, office politics. Positive office politics. Pag-usapan natin yan moving further. And ito pa yung pinaka nagustuhan ko. Kasi I was I was talking to George nung siguro mga a month, two months back. Tama ba yan, George? Two, two months na yun? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about um, finding your passion. So, um, nakita ko, uh, he did a collaboration with uh, a good friend also kay Melissa, Melissa Profeta. Hi, Mel. Uh, and mm-hmm. ang pinag-usapan nila doon sa sa post na yun is about finding your superpower. Okay? So, yun, pag-usapan natin yun, moving forward. So, a little background about George is, yeah, George is an organizational development, operations management, and marketing consultant with 20 years experience in OD, HR, talent management, and learning and development. Yan pa, pa. Sales, consulting, and business development. Okay? So, <laughs> dami skills. Okay? He co-founded a solutions development company, an operation, at uh, yun, so, solutions development company, an operations consultant for SMEs, and is currently an understudy, understudy in digital marketing. Yan, magkaklasik. Magkasama rin kami nag-aaral ng mga, uh, oh, digital marketing. Kasi, uh, me and George would uh, agree na malamang, nag-a-agree din kayo na hindi umaatras ang oras. Technology will always move forward. And if you're doing uh, old things, of course, you'll get old results. And we want, we want new and better results. <laughs> George? Ayan. So, yeah. George. Yeah. Game. Uh, let's talk about you. Uh, what's inside the mind of George Ramos? Um, tell, us, tell us your story. Okay. Thank you, uh, Ken Ken. So, hi, everyone. So, um, well... Una-una, what's inside my mind is actually marami, no? Right now, uh, I'm, 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 I'm thinking about how we can actually uh, give value to everyone tonight. Pero siguro, a little bit of uh, my story, uh, which I think is, is um, just, just to set the stage for everything. I, uh, I used to be a corporate employee uh, for about 20 years. Now, so yung, yung binasa ni Ken Ken was... was was actually 20 years in the making. I'm, if you look at it, they, ang pinakatawag sa akin, if there's a label to it, it's an old geezer. No? So medyo, you know, medyo old. <laughs> <laughs> but but um, I think um, I'm very proud of what I've achieved, not because of uh, whatever material, um, you know, material results it, it actually gained for me, but, but really more of yung mga network na na-build ko saka yung mga skills na natutunan ko along the way. So, uh, yun, I've, uh, my story pretty much is I'm, I'm actually a MASCOM graduate, would you believe? Uh, I, mm. I graduated from MASCOM. Um, and uh, I, I, uh, nung pagka-graduate ko, uh, yung tatay ko nagalit sa akin. Sabi niya, you know, um, ano ba, san, san, you know, pag, pagkatapos nito, um, san ka ba pwede magtrabaho? Um mm. During the time, I was very, you know, narrowed down to some choices lang. Ad agency ba? Or sa news ba? Or saan? Eh, parang feeling ko, parang hindi, hindi ko yata type yung nagpupuyat. <laughs> so, <laughs> eh, so, sabi ko, eh, noong time na yung mabarkada ako. So, sabi ko, I'll probably, you know, I'll probably try it in corporate. So, I landed, I landed a sales job. Uh, it was a good, honest to goodness sales job. I... I sold insurance uh, mm. as early as, pare, to, would you believe, as early as 2001 and 2002. So yung mga bata nung time, yung mga ngayon, nakikita ko nga eh, ang dami nagpo-post sa investments, ang dami nagpo-post sa... Ang sa, dami, ang dami. Financial um, advising, oh, ang dami. You know, during that time, 2001, pare, when people didn't hear about mutual funds, we mm. were already selling that. Uh, wow. 
we already knew about strategic bond funds, we already knew about blue chips. So, yun, uh, isa, isa yun sa mga binibenta namin nung dati. And, you know, I was proud because I was able to, to ano naman, to, to sell uh, quite handsomely. Sa, so, yun, sir, lilipat lang ako ha, kasi para hindi lang tayo mag-distract. So, yun. Lang. Okay lang. <laughs> anyway, um, while, while doing that, ano, that type of job, medyo na burnout ako kasi uh, daming trabaho and all that. I said na, total naman maskom ako, I can probably go into something more uh, more attuned to my to my ano to my oh. so yon nalipot ako sa sa HR and from there tuloy tuloy na yung aking career I started as an L&D professional learning and hmm. development until I gravitated and went into HR operations and organizational development mm-hmm. uh, yon tapos tuloy tuloy na sa corporate and then siguro about two years ago I had an epiphany na it, at my age, ayun ko tawag yata nila doon midlife crisis. Mm. So, if Ifani was, uh, parang ano, parang gusto ko ba na mag, mag-retire as a corporate slave? Uh, so sabi ko sa sarili ko, you know, I wanted to to do more. Eh, and dami, ang napapansin ko nga sa opisina, maraming ano, you know, yung, yung pressure din sa opisina, tsaka yung ginagawa ko, yung career ko. Parang sabi ko, I think I can do more. Tapos ako pa, I don't fit exactly in a in a square or in a, in a, in a cog no it is mm. yung very ano kasi ako eh kumbaga ewan ko siguro mamaya mapag-uusapan natin to i'm a type of person who who really siguro tawag nila doon visionary no yung parang tipong yung advance mag-isip yun yung parang tawag nila ngayon eh so, Pero, advance ako mag-isip <laughs> so, mag-isip sa meme eh hindi <laughs> sa corporate yun kasi Pwede yun kung very progressive yung organization. Pero kung hindi, malamang sa hindi, yun naman frustrate ka lang. So, uh, what I did was, I, ano, I, I said to myself, siguro I'll, I'll, I'll shift, no? I'll, I'll get out, I'll do consulting. So, I did part-time consulting until finally, now I'm doing full-time consulting. Uh, I set up a company with a couple of founders for, for technology. Hmm. And then... Ayun, nag-aaral na akong digital marketing for the past one and a half years kasi sabi ko kailangan din to at uh, yun, uh, that's where I am right now and yun yung ano yun yung parang pinakakwento um, I'm a corporate slave, I decided to just jump uh, because I felt that there, and I'm sure a lot of people uh, that we have in, a, in in our groups no ganun din, and I think you know it's it's worth it, no it's it's worth every experience and everything that you've done in the past but, uh, nice. Ako sa akin, George, uh, very... Nagaling din ako doon. Siguro I could relate with yung visionary. And <laughs> ang hirap, yeah. anhi, nahirapan ako mabox. A- ako, ako nahirapan ako mabox. Pero minsan nakakamiss din. Ako <laughs> minsan naisip ko, tika lang, ilang taon na akong hindi nag, uh, nag-work. Nasa ano na ako, mga 10, 10 years, 11 years na. Pero uh, sa akin, it's always after after uh, leaving the corporate uh, thing, it's always a day na you have to push your skills. Eh. Doon mo na, doon ko na, na, doon ko na nakita na parang, okay, improvement, 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 skill set, skill set, skill set. Eh. Di ba? <laughs> yun na yung ginagawa natin yan. So, okay. pero, uh, yeah, in regards doon sa, ano pala, um, ano, yung, ano yung masasabi mong, solid na learning na pwede natin ma-share sa mga viewers natin ngayon. Doon sa story mo kasi uh, very interesting. Ang, ang, bilis nung, ang bilis nung growth eh. Tapos uh, dumating ka doon sa midlife crisis mo. Did, did that midlife crisis uh, really push you to actually move to, you, to where you are right now? You are correct. Uh, it actually uh, pushed me. Hmm. And anything, no? Uh, Basically, during the time when I experienced that crisis, um, it, it, it was telling me, you know, na, you know uh, wh- when are you going to do it? Ngayon na ba or pagtanda mo na? And, and that's mm. only coming inside my head, no? Um, yung passion nandun, yung parang, and I even called it passion during the time. Parang siguro ang tawag dyan, parang interesado. Ano, saan ka ba interesado? And it was pushing me. I was interested in so many things nung nasa HR ako like marketing i was interested in 
put in technology. It's all over the place. Pero it was actually telling me, alam mo, kailan mo pagagawin yan pag uugod-ugod na. So yun, it actually pushed me out. But if there's one learning that I learned mm. uh, sobrang valuable, yung corporate experience ko walang kapalit yun. Tama. Uh, <laughs> Tama yun. Tama yun. Agree. Tama natutunan doon, sir. Ang dami kong natutunan. As in, uh, in fact, even if what I do right now, my siguro my work ethic, yung productivity ko, mm-hmm. so, from there. And, and siguro, swerte lang din ako, I, I, you know, I belong to an organization uh, that actually pushed me to be that way. But, um, yun, it, ang, ang, ang laki ng utang na loob ko dun sa experience ko. And siguro, this is the next chapter. This is the the last one and a half years is my next chapter and for for whatever i'll be learning from it as you've said no dito iba yung scenario you you continuously push for your skills because you're all alone no <laughs> may iwanan ka pag hindi ka nagpush eh may iwanan ka no? pero yung foundation ng galing sa corporate na tipong yeah agree corporate kasi sink or swim ka din pag hindi ka hindi ka pumantay hindi ka naging maayos hindi ka naging quote in unquote corporate citizen Mm-hmm. And that's really frustrating. No, that's really frustrating. So, yun, yun yung natutunan ko. Very uh very important. Oh, sobrang sinulat ko ah, sinulat ko yung scenario mo. Ngayon pa ba o pagtanda ko na? Di ba? Very 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 important uh question yan kasi there are lots of things that you could do. Uh pero syempre uh like nung last uh episode I was with uh Christina Reclamada. Hi Chris. Chris Hi. is watching. This is uh, a band that was actually an org mate of mine in UP. Oh, yeah. Oh, nga daw. <laughs> Nag-usap kami. Sabi ko, ikaw yung next guest ko. <laughs> oh, nakwento nga. <laughs> Pero yan, hi Chris and hi Michelle. Hi my mom. My mom's watching. Michelangelo Diaz, what's up, man? So, yeah, guys, if you have any questions, yeah, feel free. Uh, we'll be playing with uh, a lot of situations later. If you have situations or problems in the workplace that you want to pitch in, Let's work it out. Let's play it out. And uh, hindi lang kami ang uh, we're not we're not we're not calling ourselves experts here. We're we're friends who want to share uh, understanding and learnings, de ba na nakuha namin from friends and our experiences also. And um, if you have any opinions, yeah, feel free to comment, and we'd be glad to to talk about it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, na tayo dun. Uh, positive feedback. Na. Let's go to our topic. Here, yeah, positive feedback in the workplace. Yeah. How, how 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 does how does feedback work for you, George? Alam mo, ako, it's it's one of the number one things. Okay, so for me, um, when it comes to learning something, mm. Mm. the best teacher is your experience. So you experience wow. by. Pero the second best teacher is actually feedback. There mm. is no teacher that's that 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 comes close to to experience than to give feedback. And mm. I think very under, underwhelming yung kanyang, ano ngayon, yung kanyang reputation ngayon. And I, I don't know why. Uh, siguro, and siguro nga because Filipino tayo, we're very, we're very indirect, not, not so much, uh, you know, we, we don't, we're non-confrontational. Hindi tayo masyadong direct makipag-usap. Uh, mm. Siguro dahil ganun nga, kaya hindi masyado nabibigyan ng emphasis ng feedback. And for me, Feedback is really important, especially feedback to help a person improve. Now, there are two types of feedback kasi. Pinasabi mm. uh, nila yung, yung criticism, which is mm. uh, feedback na, or, or constructive feedback, which is a better way to put it. No? Or yung feedback talaga na aayusin ka. Pero ako, you know, I think more than anything, it's still important to get feedback. Why? Feedback makes you uh, more than anything aware of who you are. And once you do that, once you get into that space of being aware of who you are, it's easy now for you to be able to act on the feedback. So, yan yun eh. Yan yung formula dun eh. Mm. Uh, Hello? Ang- yan. <laughs> Pero pare, it's your responsibility, it's your accountability to act on the feedback. Otherwise, the feedback loop is not complete. Mm. The loop won't be complete. Kasi hindi mo siya in-apply. No? Hindi mo siya, hindi ka nag-act on it. So, so, so how does it factor in now in terms of growth? Uh, yun nga, para sa akin, ang dami kong nakikita. Organizations, ang dami kong nakikita na kumpanya, 
being in consulting for the past uh, uh, two years, no? Uh, ang dami ko nakikita ang kumpanya, pati, pati nga pamilya eh, pati nga magkakaibigan eh, pati hmm. even communities in Facebook. Lack of feedback ang napapansin ko. And when I say lack of feedback, like, ewan ko, um, example na lang dun sa digital marketing community. Uh, may mga nagpo-post dun, you know, uh, experience nila. And sometimes, for, for, some, for, for, for most or some, may status quo yan eh. Yung status quo is exactly kung nasan yung grupo ngayon, di ba? Mm. I'm sure you, you're quite familiar with that. And in, in, in the status quo, uh, as long as you're an organization, whether you're an organization, you're a company, you're a group of friends, you're a big group, may status quo kayo, may norm kayong finafollow. Now, mm. if somebody doesn't perform well within that norm or yung ginawa niya didn't sit well within that norm, more often than not, ang nagiging reaction natin daw eh. Either pinagtatawa na natin, di ba? Na hindi sasabihin ah. Tatawanan mo lang at your, the comfort of your home. Oh, the, well, I mean, you know, innate siguro sa, sa human beings, you know, to throw rocks at each other. Um, so, yun yung... Sorry, sorry. No? Okay na. <laughs> hi daw, by, by the way, hi daw sabi ni Sue. Yeah, Sue Seltanelia. Hi daw sabi ni Sue. Katrabaho mo siya before. Yeah, we used to work together daw. Wait lang. Hi, Sue. <laughs> Naayos pa ni George yung sa, sa phone niya. Tumawag niya tayo. Ken. Ayun. Can you hear me? Ito marinig. Yeah, okay. yan. Okay na? Dinig kita. I can hear you. May tumatawag sa ano messenger mo. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, dinig mo na ako. I can't hear you but I'll try to speak. Uh, yeah, wait, may tumatawag sa message. <laughs> wait lang. Sige, sige, sige. While George is uh, fixing it, hi muna tayo sa mga friends natin watching. And again, um, uh, comment lang kayo. Yeah. Ayun, yun, perfect, perfect. Yun, George, sabi nga ni Sue. Hi yeah. daw, sabi ni Su- Susel Planilia. Hi. Yeah, you nag nag work daw kayo together before, siguro sa isang company. Wait lang. Ayun. So, okay. Yung recap ko lang ha. So, very important yung feedback, okay? And uh ang so based on what we can all understand is pag binigay sa yung feedback, don't let it just be information. Uh as as per George, uh, you, very important, Jen, is the effect of feedback is to give you awareness. And when you're aware of something, you could do something about it. Okay? Yun yung isa sa pinaka-importante doon. Okay na. George, okay na? Ken. Yo, yo, man. Wala akong marinig. Recon. Reconnect. Recon. Sa Zoom. No, no, no. Okay. I, I, I actually... Maybe mix the Yan, yan, One, two, three. So sorry, bro. So sorry. Sige, sige, sige. Re- reconnect, reconnect. Can you read lips? <laughs> reconnect. <laughs> For some reason. E, recon lang, bro. Dyan, message kita. O oh, yan. Yan, guys. I mean... Okay, okay, okay. Uh, oh, recon lang sa Zoom, bro. Chris, yan. We're talking about feedback now. Uh, sino pa yung mga nandito sa HR field? Uh, this could probably help a lot. Managers, message lang kayo. Okay. Yan. I- kailangan ko lang i-re-accept. Re- re- si George. Yeah, I got you. Here we go. Ayan. Can you hear me? Okay, perfect. <laughs> You're sorry, sorry, man. Okay lang, man. Okay lang, man. So, yun. Welcome again, guys. And yun nga. Hi daw, sabi ni Sue. <laughs> sabi ni Sue, Sue Planilia. Hi daw, George. Sue. I know Sue. <laughs> yeah, she's watching. Yeah, hi daw. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, going back dun sa topic. I, as I was saying, habang nung, nung nagkaroon tayo ng onting communication ano dun sa internet, uh, Awareness, awareness, awareness would always lead to something to change, diba? Lalo na, yun yung effect ng feedback eh. Don't let it just 
be information kasi information won't do anything. Diba? Application pa rin yan eh. After mo marinig yung feedback, you, you have to check within yourself how, how would you feel about it and kailangan mo rin i-voice out yun. That's diba? Mm. Then, um, yun na nga eh, parang it's, I've seen it right now, parang nada-downplay siya masyado. And I, how I wish that people could be could give more feedback no and and then again uh wag lang silang pumunta dun sa feedback na will not help people no kasi again like for example i can very well like for example i spoke to 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 somebody yesterday so hmm. busy na and uh medyo mabagal siya magtrabaho mabagal yung results hmm. i could tell the person na hoy alam mo uh, ang bagal-bagal mo pero you know, or for that matter, I can just shut up and just let it go, let it pass. Pero sayang yung opportunity. For me, every time a person does not uh, live up to, let's say, a standard, or for mm. that matter, does not perform to a certain standard based on a certain norm, mm. it's important that you actually point it out to the person and tell the person that I'm here, I'm available to help you. You know, parang be very sincere about it. And, and alam mo, Alam mo, you don't just give help the person. You also gain a friend. No? Kasi matututunan ng tao na, uy, itong tao na to nagsabi siya ng, ng magandang feedback sa akin. Now, syempre, depende pa rin sa tumatanggap yan. May mga taong hindi talaga tumatanggap ng, ng, ng feedback ng maayos. No? For some reason, siguro, I would leave it to you guys, kayo yung mga experts sa communication, um, but, you know, how to actually get through them. But there are people who just really shut off. No? Pero... Ako, it would really still be good to actually just give feedback. Honest to goodness, positive, constructive, or for that matter, make sure that it's going to help type of feedback. Hmm. Yung, yung nakikita ko kasi dun, uh, since we, we work uh, on my end sa NLP and sa therapy, uh, yung pagbigay kasi ng feedback, uh, very important factor dyan para sa akin is yung intention. That's right. Yes. The intention kasi parang when I was asked ano yung pinaka source ng when I teach persuasion and influence, pwede ako mag-fall down sa pinaka secret key which is hope. Eh. Pero looking at it, meron pang mas malalim dun eh, yung intention mo. Because if you have the that intention kung good man yan or bad yan, one yung intention is to close the deal. Everything follows through. Okay? Hindi lang yung words mo, yung body language mo, yung mga non-verbals mo. Nag, no. nag, nag, nuhalabas lahat yun based dun sa intention mo eh. So when giving feedback, okay, check, check with your intention. Is it to hurt or to actually, or do you mean well? That's Kasi, uh, yeah, if you mean well, what happens is kahit sobrang sama na yun feedback mo, ay pangit mo, di ba? <laughs> Hindi <laughs> naman ganun. Pero ang, ang, ang notion na sinabi sa akin nun uh, ng isang friend ko is ganito. Pag nakita mo ba yung kaibigan mo, yung best friend mo ah, na sobrang close mo, na may kulangot siya, ikaw ba yung kaibigan na magsasabi ng Oy, may kulangot ka? O ikaw ba yung kaibigan na papabayaan mo lang, na makita ng ibang tao na meron siyang kulangot na palabasan ng ilong niya? Example. Sorry. And it's so, ano, it's so, it's so important um, na, na maano yun. Ito, ito yung ano dyan. Ito yung, um, ito yung magandang kwento dyan. Wouldn't you believe, and, and I would certainly agree, yung sinabi mo nga yung intention eh. Alam mo ba, biktima ako ng ano, kaya ako, kaya ako naging ano din sa feedback, is biktima din ako ng uh, negative feedback. No? Mm. When I was corporate and I was, you know, uh, uh, the past few years that I've been there, you know, ang daming, ang daming ano, ang daming noise na lumalabas. And, and somehow, I, you know, instead of it, no uh, being able being able to help me mas napansin ko na yun na nga eh dahil nagiging nagiging intriga nagiging politics nagiging you know imbis na matulungan ka na maraming naiinggit maraming kung hindi mo naiinggit maraming pumupuna hmm. no, instead of actually helping me grow um 
I would have appreciated if people during that time could have just approached me and told me na, hey, you know, um, I see na ganito ka, or for that matter, see that you're doing these things, um, and then it could be better if you do it the other way. Parang sana may nagsabi sa akin na ganun. And ang daming missed opportunities uh, na nangyari sa akin nung dati na sana I wish people could have just approached me and told me. And, and you know, I, 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 I've uh, had my fair share of uh, mistakes, no? Uh, mm. in, in life before na, you know, people would tell me na, ay, yan, yan si George asshole yan. Ano, ibig sabihin, or, or you know, that, that, that guy is a proverbial dick, dickhead, you know? <laughs> I, I would have appreciated if people could have just told me that, hey man, you know, this is what you're doing and this is, these are the results that are happening because you're doing these things. And, and mm-hmm. you know, kung, nag- kung nalaman ko na ganun, I could have changed earlier. Isa mm-hmm. yun. Alawa, hindi lang pag-change. Siguro, I could have become a better person earlier then. Kasi yun na nga eh. That because I didn't get the feedback, I'm actually delaying somebody's progress. Okay. Well, that's a, a nice way to put it, Pat. <laughs> so, did... Pero, George, uh, wala, matanong ko lang ha, is there, is there a specific feedback na nabigay sa'yo that help you really change for the better? Actually, it was, a, it was ano, there were, well, two things. Actually, yung hindi pagbigay sa akin ng feedback, yun yung nagpagbigay sa akin. Kasi the feedback that I was getting was was pretty much negative na, pare, ano yan, asshole yan, stricto na boss yan. Ano yan, uh, iba yan, ibang klase yan. No? Animal yan. I mean, that was the thing. <laughs> uh, and, and, you know, I... It actually had me thinking, bakit ako animal? Eh, ginagawa ko lang naman yung trabaho ko. Trabaho, yeah. I may be, ano, I may be very direct. You know, mm. I'm very, um, uh, siguro, spontaneous and direct when it comes to doing things. Uh, but but at the end of it all, I, I should have appreciated if people were very specific. So, yun nga eh. Yun yung nakapagpabago sa akin. Yun yung nagsabi sa akin, teka muna, teka muna, pare. Parang, George, parang mali rin yung ginagawa. May mga resulta rin siya, no? Hindi, hindi magagandang resulta. And uh, people were leaving. People were hmm. doing well in terms of what they were doing. And uh, ako yung nabibigyan ng, ng, ng feedback na ganun. But hindi hmm. nga. So, uh, it was a label instead of a feedback that I got. No? So, ang nangyari was, I, I, I sat down. And I, you know, I, I reflected. And then I spoke to couple of people uh, yung mga bosses ko kinausap ko and then yun mag, sa, sa, sa kagandahan palad natulungan nila ako but but only to a point because I actually sought it no? and sinabi ko rin sa mga bosses ko na alam nyo dapat sinabi nyo na sa akin ng maaga nag may ganito pala akong problem no? para nang sa ganun mas maaga ako nakapagpabago or for that matter I could have I could have helped other people so, yun, fast forward to today. That's why it's an advocacy of mine. Uh, you know, to just, you know, say it plainly, plain Jane. Uh, yeah. But at the same time, with the intention, as you've said, of helping people. Um, so that you don't delay their progress. Kasi everyone is entitled to progress. No, I'm not yeah. saying, I hate people who are entitled. Honestly, pare, ayoko ng taong entitled. But what I, what I really want is people should be entitled to progress. Yun lang naman ang importante dun. Eh. So, so yun. Uh, that's the lesson I, I, I can share in terms of that. Y- yung yung tinitingnan ko kasi kanina was the how. Eh. I mean, how how do we give feedback? Pero I want to ping dun sa sinabi mo kasi uh, for, for quite some time, uh, here's probably my experience on it. I've, I've, when, when doing public talks, okay, for example, uh, you've been doing it for quite a long time or consulting or giving advice or working with people, coaching. And there comes to a point na pag meron kang mga natulungan na tao, ang feedback nila palaging positive. Yes. Pero hindi yun yung hinahanap na, ako personally, hindi yun yung hinahanap kong feedback. Eh. <laughs> hindi yun eh, hindi yun eh. I'm looking for feedback that could help me improve help me create better content. So, kumari, uh, 
pumunta ka ng workshop, it's it's flattering. It's flattering. Thank you guys. Uh, when when you do a workshop and people people give you good, uh, oh, yung galing, oh, yung galing. Pero nakasulat ton, if there was something to improve, what would it be? Yep. I fully agree. That's, that's... Wala. Wala. Di ba? <laughs> Wala nakalagay tinatamad na wala, kasi wala wala walang nakalagay um i i respect all my all my friends who attend uh the workshops namin uh, natin or any 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 friends that are doing workshops pero uh ako nilalagay ko talaga doon may, may i i want them to grow eh so i want i i want to make them aware na kailangan bro i think this would help with your presentation nilalagay ko <laughs> alam mo oh. et- Yun kita ng kwento. Last mm. Friday, I was just in a workshop. Oh, paplug ko lang ha, shamelessly. I'm a mm. Lego Serious Play facilitator. So, Oy, Lego. Nice. Lego Serious Play is a methodology that's being used to help organizations and people, individuals, using yung Lego na na, na blocks. No? So anyway, mm. um, ano yan? Ginagawa ko yan matag- matagal na. Um, after the workshop, pareho tayo. I was looking for Ano yung mga pwede ko ma-improve, no? In fact, sabi ko, yung bayad sa kanila lang importante sa akin yung ano yung improve ko. Mm. Diba? So, um, uh, and again, nakalagay doon, siyempre, lagi yun, pagkatapos na pagkatapos ng workshop, ang una kong tinihingi talaga is yung evaluation form. No? <laughs> gusto ko makita eh, diba? <laughs> Pari, gusto ko tignan, gusto ko makita ano yung mga pwede kong ayusin. And I'm sure may mga, hindi naman perfecto lagi yan. Remember, every every workshop that me, that I would conduct, you would conduct, mm. learning experience din sa ating mga facilitators. Kasi, it's ano eh, it's a different audience. They have different norms. They have different belief systems. Diba? Mm. So, we have to be able to penetrate that belief system and convert them into people who would really, um, you know, uh, you know, digest our content. So, that being said, lagi kong tinitignan yun. No? So, so yun, yung Friday, una kong tinignan. So, ano, tin- ito yung nakakatawa kasi yung rating system is 1, 2, 3, 4. Hmm. So, tinanong ko sa, hindi ko napansin. Baka ito lang 5. <laughs> actually, hindi. Yung nag-sponsor kasi nung event, siya yung nagpalabas nung evil form, hindi ako. So, hmm. okay. yun na, nung gabi na actually, tina- tinukulit ko, sabi ko, nasa na yung ano, nasa na yung evil form. Sabi nga, George, ano eh, uh, ang sagot nila mga 3 and 4. Ah, okay. So, sabi ko 3 and 4. Ang baba. Sabi ko, uh, walang 5. <laughs> sabi hmm. hindi, 4 yung pinakamataas. Pero sabi ko nga, ano, um, uh, I, I wanted to look at the, 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 yung mga verbatims, no? yung mismong, uh, yung mismong mga nakasulat. That was what I was looking for. Kasi mas gusto ko yun, mas maiintindihan ko. No? So, hmm. yung, yung sinasabi nilang, uh, qualitative feedback from that eval form was the one that I was after. Kasi, yun yung ano eh, nandun lahat pare. Nakalagay doon, no? uh, medyo masyado mabilis yung pag... pag, pag yung delivery. Oh, masyado malalim yung terminology. Uh, um, mm. hindi, hindi, hindi namin magets yung portion na to. So, yung mga ganun. Um, I was, ano, I was, I was wanting to always look forward to that. And uh, pare, I'm, I'm with you. Yan din yung pareho tayo, no? Yan yung lagi kong hinahanap. Nag, to the point, um, nag-active ako. Nag-active uh, messaging ako. Kasi uh, I was looking for friends that attend different trainers, ba? Kasi parang I, I wanted to know the gauge, eh. What, how am I faring out with other trainers in the field? So, the only way you would know is hindi mo na, hindi ko naman pwede attendan lahat yung training ng ibang <laughs> trainers kasi uh, as, as a fellow trainer medyo parang ako parang I, I see it as a form of respect eh, na hindi ako uma-attend sa <laughs> sa kapareho mo ng topic kasi mm. as much mm, kasi parang ang nangyayari dun is uh, well sa akin lang yun siguro personal preference ko lang yun na it's, it's a form of respect for me na hindi ako naga ano so yun nga humingi ako ng feedback dun sa mga attendees ko lately and uh, I I got I got a lot of feedback yeah. so very important yung nag seek out ka talaga so ang nakuha ko mga feedback talaga is okay naman yung training maganda naman yung mga nagagawa ko 
it's more of specify uh, connecting specifically yeah. dun sa mga tao kasi syempre kung marami yung tao dun sa training uh, as much as possible you want to connect with each and every one That's pero correct. there are times na you get to focus on one person two persons yeah dahil siguro yeah. sila mas, mas mabibo or whatever sila nasa mas mas harap Oh, ganun. Pwede rin yun. Yeah. So, yun. Uh, yeah, in regards to... Yun, guys, uh, message lang kayo dito. Uh, in regards to feedback, how how do we give good, positive feedback, George? Oh, ako number one is, you know, coming from what you said, it's the intention. It's the intention, you know, coming from the place of help. And then, um, always uh, make sure, if, if regardless of whether the feedback is positive, or negative always anchor it to positive uh, positive words no ibig sabihin instead of you didn't do this or you didn't do that it could always use the words you could have done this no yung mga mm. yung, this you could have done that and um, aside from that it has to be very specific always go back to the example as clearly as possible when you're trying to give feedback to a person so for example since pwede mo sabihin pare dito sa portion na to nung workshop mo uh, medyo hindi nagresonate with the audience kasi yung mga examples na binigay mo hindi masyadong hindi nakaka-relate or for mm. medyo high level masyado and the audience is a little bit masa no so and 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 as a result so there there you go after saying the specific you give exactly what what happened and then tell them what was the result no yung feedback mm. Baga, nung, nung nangyari, and tell them that the result was na, na disorient sila no hmm. Med, na, inantok yung iba medyo nagyon yung isang tao medyo hmm. nag, nakipag uh, hindi nakaklik sa dun sa boss nila no? so parang ganun um yun yung mga yun yung mga parang pinaka higher level na na parang i don't know from coming from me who's not really an expert on it but an advocate on it i would think that those are the really important things that you should be considering when it comes to feedback has to be specific. It has to come from a place of help. It has to uh, more or less give them the result of what happened in terms of the the, the scenario that that they did, no. And then, um, you know, as much as possible, minimize negative language. And then, if you're also going to give them feedback, always focus not on the person, pare na, you know, uh, dun na konyare. The person is uh, is very non-productive. Mm. For example, may mga deadline siya na hindi ma-meet. Huwag mo sabihin, ano, huwag mo sabihin, alam mo pare, ano ka eh, hindi ka productive eh. <laughs> Di ba? Parang, yung gan- pwede mo feedbackan yung action. Oo, yung action. Yung action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ma- ma- Not the person. Personally. No, parang, ah, ganun, tingin mo sa akin, tamad. So, defensive na kagad yun. And mm. I'm sure, di ba, uh, <laughs> uh, the, the intent of communication is to always clear away the barriers, di ba? That, 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 mm. that, it. So, the best way is to probably tell the person na, you know, uh, I've been noticing lately that uh, the deadlines have not been met. That's why we are not making our targets. Diba? Mm. Matter, you know, uh, I've been noticing lately that uh, there have been mistakes uh, in the spreadsheets that, 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 that was sent to me. That's why uh, our quality scores are affected. So, you know, it's, it's very... Um, um, it, it's not directed to the person. It's rather directed to the action itself. No? So yung tao, and then the person will say, ah, ganun ba? Siyempre, naturally, because you are focused on the outcome, yung accountability niya, aangat. Sasabihin niya, ah, ganun ba? So, ang next question niya is, paano maaayos? Diba? Mm-hmm. So, instead of sabihin na magiging defensive siya na, hindi, ano mo, pare, masyadong naman personal yung sinabi mo what happens is he actually goes back to you and tells you automatically na, you know what, paano ba maayos yan? You know, how do we fix this? And there you can actually give yung kailangan advice na gusto mong ibig- ibigay, you know, whatever that advice would be, you know, or whatever additional feedback you can give. You know? So, yun yung ano dun, yun yung sinasabi kong learning opportunity if you're actually doing it correctly. You know? Instead of saying na, uy, ang pangit nung ano, ha? ang pangit nung performance mo kanina, or for that matter, Ah, uh, yung ano mo, yung sinabit mo, hina- tinapon lang kasi sagwa nung resulta. 
it's so easy to say that no um and again siguro nga tamad din siguro tayo kaya hindi natin pinagtutuunan ng pansin pero ako it, you know be very specific and then just tell them pare you know i've noticed the that you know it should have been this way or for that matter this is what happened and then this was the result so hmm. yun uh, high level again i'm not an expert on feedback but but for me based on how i've been applying it for the past few years so far naman magaganda yung resulta so oh, yun ang importante yung resulta eh pero mm-hmm. ang um, i-add ko lang doon just to add guys uh, there's a meron din ibang ways on how to give feedback Uh, karamihan, uh, they start with giving up the acknowledgement first. So, parang bibigyan muna nila lang good news. <laughs> Bigay, acknowledge mo muna yung good things so that uh, nandun sila sa makuha mo yung attention ng tao. And then, pag nandun na yung nakuha na yung attention, kasi as ako, I I do it that way. I wouldn't start with uh, a negative. I'd start with always parang, oh, pare, I think um, may magandang, ito yung mga magandang nangyari. Pero ito yung mga bagay na pwede natin ma-improve on. So, hindi ko siya tinatarget ng siya lang. Sinasama ko rin ako as a feedback giver to the equation. Okay? So, ano yung pwede natin pagtulungan para ma-improve yan? Well, I'm coming from oh, siguro a person of authority or uh, I'm a coach. Pero um, as as a, a coach, you always have to give feedback eh. Kasi hindi mag improve yung tao eh. And then after noon, doon na ako sa directive, ida-direct ko siya sa by asking a question. Yung yep. question na nilalagay ko sa dulo palagi ng feedback ko after giving the feedback ganito. So since um nasabi ko na sa iyo yung mga dapat mong marinig, ano yung mga gusto mong changes or mga positive, pwede mo i-frame eh. Pwede, ano yung mga gusto mong positive changes na mangyari after hearing this? Mm. So at least hindi lang hindi mo lang nabigay yung feedback. You're already en route to action and result para maayos yung behavior. Okay, so kung tamad ligay tayo yung situation, tamad yung yung employee mo, tamad yung uh, yun, kasama mo sa work. Ang ibibigay mong feedback is yun nga hindi hindi tamad ka. Alam mo, nakita ko naman na hardworking ka kasi pumapasok ka pa din araw-araw. <laughs> hard, hard, nakita ko naman hardworking ka kasi pumapasok ka pa rin araw-araw pero alam mo ba na napapansin kasi ng ibang tao okay na medyo parang you're not doing work efficiently hindi ko sinabing tamad danghanap ako ng ibang term mas maganda na siya pakinggan and mas pasok siya okay since we want to prove them wrong ano yung pwede natin gawin para maayos yan or malam- makita nila na hindi ka naman hindi ka naman tamad <laughs> yun yun so ganun yun uh, yeah anything to add bago na yung mag shift yeah. sa topic tama ka yung, yung technique na yan yung sinasabi nilang sandwich technique no uh, actually, sandwich eh <laughs> na, you know you start off positive tell first yung mga positive na na gawa niya and then pasok mo na unti-unti yung improvement mm. and then again on a positive note no so it's a technique that's being used in corporate no another hmm. one pwede siguro nating last na idagdag ko is ano when you're giving feedback na medyo constructive or yung hmm. medyo positive for improvement limit it to three lang pare wag mo masyadong sosobrahan oh. kasi pag kunyari sinobrahan mo what even if kahit na sobrang ganda nawawala 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 yung ano mo nung nung intention mo they, it feels like a personal attack no so Um, as much as possible kung kung marami talaga kung 10 yan siguro gawin mo na lang tatlong session no pero don't mm. it all in one go uh, kasi nga yun nga people tend to shut down if they're experiencing so much negativity negativity although if it's <laughs> constructivity <laughs> even if it's pra- framed correctly ano yan ma- maraming you know they they feel so bad about it no so So yun, um, and yes, I would always agree that it's best to actually, you know, uh, best to start off and lead off with positivity. Mm. So yun, add ko lang, guys. Uh, since I, I'm from NLP Hypnosis Philippines, uh, maraming words kasi na pwedeng gamitin, uh, lalo na sa mga, sa how to communicate efficient, hindi lang efficiently, hypnotically. So okay. I've listed down some words na pwede nyo gamitin na okay. mga... <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, hypnotic language uh, patterns to. So, yung would you, yan, list down nyo. Perhaps, you might, I'm not sure, allow. Yan, allow. Uh, palagi ko na ginagamit yan. Itong tawag dito ay language softeners. Okay? You can, you can check it out online. Meron na, marami rin language softeners yan. Pero ito yung mga pick ko. Uh, tapos, meron pa ako isa yun. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yan, ginagamit ko rin. <laughs> yan, you could. Yan, yun yung mga words na ginagamit. Perhaps is also another one. Perhaps it would be better. Parang ganon, di ba? Yan, perhaps, you might. I'm not sure. Yan, I'm not sure if. Yan, <laughs> yan. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope that helps. And then, next topic natin, guys, is, of course, office politics. Yeah. Okay. Um, ano yung, ano yung pinaka-hardcore na experience mo ng office politics, George? Um, well, pinaka-hardcore, pare, I could say, in terms of office politics is, may mga, ano, may mga natanggal kaming empleyado kasi... Hmm. They had to, ano, they had to rant out or rat out uh, a certain isang VP ng isang kumpanya na pinagtrabahuhan ko nun dati. May mga ginagaw hindi maganda, no? So, it, 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 it went as far as that, no? Na tinanggal. Okay. Um, there were, there were siyempre, ano, allegiances to, to certain personalities. Doon mo nakita na may mga kumakampi dun sa VP, may mga hindi kumakampi. Pero halos siyempre lahat ng mga hindi kumampi tanggal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yun yung hardcore, ha? Yun talagang pinaka-hardcore. No? But, but, but there's there's also office politics on a daily basis. No? For me, um, I know it was tackled, I think, uh, last time when you did your session then. But, mm-hmm. siguro, I'll, I'll, my take is a little bit. Yung sa sip-sip. Sip-sip sa workplace. Yan. Oh, sip-sip sa workplace. Ito hindi. This is more of, instead of sip-sip, ito yung mga, ano, ito yung mga tao who are just after, you know, just out to get you. I'm mm. sure you've experienced this or anyone who's listening right now. Mm. Yung mga tayo sabi natin power blocks. Uh, in mm. any organization kasi, meron mga tinatawag na power blocks yan. Yung okay. Blocks, yan yung mga tao who are uh, very so much close to the norm or the current status quo uh, of the office or the organization. And because they're in that status quo, sila yung nafe-favor. Sila yung nagsashine. Di ba? So, ngayon, dahil sila yung nagsashine, they get to have a certain entitlement to get away. <laughs> no, so when I say get a lot of things, siguro, ang isang example, isang grupo ng mga performers, no? mm. magagaling sila eh. Dahil magagaling, mm. kahit na yung mga request nila medyo hindi naman katarungan, binibigay. No? Mm-hmm. And maraming tao ang na-off doon. And minsan, itong mga magagaling na to, they also dictate on on the weaker people or the weaker blocks na hindi nakakapantay doon sa performance nila yun dapat nilang ginagawa and and it can result to to ano to bad mouthing na tipong oy oh, yung grupo na yan may hina ulo ng mga yan mga tamad yan no if it's coming from the power block no ano tatanggalin na ba natin yan or siguro asarin na lang natin so may mga ganon no and um, in in the office maraming taong ganyan na tipong uh, naapektuhan. Yun nga, siguro in, in one way or the other, ang tingin natin dito sa mga to, sip-sip, no? Mm. Pero hindi sip-sip, eh. It's, it's really more of these people are just uh, really up there, no? And, and they, they put people in certain corners na nahihirapan silang makipag, you know, mahirapan silang uh, to exist in, in the workplace. Now, why am I saying this? Because um, ang sa akin, ano, very specific and siguro I'll, I'll, I'll lead it back to to giving feedback uh, if you're part of any block whether you're you're from the power block or from the weaker block mm. feedback is still very important meaning you either or you either give it only with the intention of trying to improve no para at least everyone is happy kasi nga if we're kung if you're coming from the weaker block at na-offend ka sa mga office politics, yung mga power blocks, mm. ang mangyayari dyan, ikaw ang talo. Kailangan sakyan mo talaga yan. Um, dahil pag hindi mo sinakyan yan, people can gang up on you and that's the tendency of people. Diba? Ano nga? The, the tendency of people is to congregate. No? Um, ang mangyayari dyan, when people gang up on you, ikaw mismo, 
ma-frustrate ka until it, it goes deeper, nagiging depression hanggang sa umaalis ka na lang ng trabaho. While I'm saying na ano, uh, natural lang naman talaga sa taong maghanap ng greener pastures, sana umalis ka sa trabaho not because na na pressure ka ng isang power block or for that matter na pressure ka ng office politics it would be better if you leave an organization siguro because you're looking for something better in terms of uh, you know fulfillment or 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 greener pastures nga so yun um that that's that's ano that's that's what my take on office politics is office politics is is always there because it 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 ano it makes an organization thrive Part mm. siya na, yun eh. so, human behavior uh, at the end of the day humans are running the office hindi <laughs> naman aliens and humans are emotional being so yeah oh agree on the sub power power trip um i mean that happens if uh, pero yun nga eh um, kaya ang tinuturo lately na, napapansin ko most of the people who are teaching leadership and management are teaching EQ yeah. to raise the EQ, emotional quotient, di ba? Kasi, uh, ano eh, ang, ang laking factor na you also hear your people out. Di ba? Pero, eh, yun yung, dito yung kaya, inuna namin pag-usapan kanina ni George yung feedback. Kasi, kung titingnan mo, how do you deal with office politics? you're not dealing it by shutting up. Diba? If you have to either communicate how you're feeling, mahirap kasi kung ang workplace ninyo is hindi open to to, ano eh, to ideas, eh, to new ideas, to new thought. Mahirap yun. Okay? And ang, 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 ang looking at office uh, politics, ang nangyayari dyan is Meron, mer- there's always a power in control. Eh. That's correct. Ta- tama ba? Meron, meron, mer- there's always a power in control. So, if you, kung meron pang mas mataas na power in control doon, pwede kang dumiretso doon. Para, kasi, yun nga eh, walang nagsasabi. Hindi <laughs> ko, nabubuli ka na pala. Hindi ka na, <laughs> nagiging unfair na pala yung, yung sistema ng ano. Kaya nga meron HR eh. Kaya, diba? I mean, <laughs> yun yung point eh. May HR, tapos yun na nga, eh, minsan nga, minsan, matatao ka, minsan HR kasama din eh. <laughs> Pero, hindi, yun nga, as an individual, when you're facing those that as, as, as adversity, you know, the only way for you is to really, ano eh, is to really take it in such a way na, hindi, gusto ko matuto, whether it's going to, this thing is damaging for me, my, my, the, the ano is, this will help me learn. So, face it, makisayaw ka sa sa politika makisayaw ka yeah oh isa yan as them uh, if if there's a block that that pretty much doesn't get you or for that matter uh, doesn't make you fit somewhere tell them and ask them can you please give me feedback um, ano ba yung nakikita niyo mali doon sa ginagawa ko and i would appreciate it because i want to grow as a person you know and tama and, tama yeah, um yun yung pinakamagandang pin, pare it's actually maturity no uh, tama ka hmm. Um, to be able to just ask the person boldly and tell them, you know, I, I sense that uh, you guys don't really like me or for that matter, my group uh, mm. is something that we need to improve. Can you give us ways or can you help us improve? I think that's the best way to deal with it. Um, whether, Regardless of whether you're coming from the opposite side of the fence or you're coming from the power group. Sa power group naman, instead of criticizing uh, you know the weaker group just tell them you know eto yon gusto ko kayong kausapin um these are the our our observations eto yung gusto naming pakita sa inyo na na pwedeng yung gawin may, pwedeng gawin. meron akong pwedeng i-add diyan pare kasi uh napapansin ko kasi uh when uh when i communicate kasi i use the words na specific sa isang culture for example nasa work ka malamang Word, yung word na work. So, gamitin natin in a sentence. Alam mo, alam ko meron tayong issue dalawa eh. Pero, mm-hmm. is there a way that we could either, yung word dito settle, pwede, meron bang way na masettle natin to so that we could work better together? Kasi wala naman tayong magagawa eh. Magka-araw-araw lang tayong magkasama. 
di ba? Pero may, maybe we could just talk about it and make things work. That's correct. Yep. Pwedeng ganun. Y- yun yung, ang tawag kasi namin dun is using, eh, parang, in hypnosis, we call it parang trans words. So we're using the words na, na reality sa lahat ng tao dun sa culture na yun. Di ba? <laughs> ganun. So yun. Hope, I, I hope that that helps uh, our viewers, guys, uh, mga nanonood. I hope, I hope that helps. And um, if you have any office uh, politics or any situations that we could help you with, feel free to comment here sa baba or f- you can message us on Facebook. Wala naman problema. Uh, we'd be glad to to help you with um, your situation sa pwede natin itweak. Diba? On how you deliver it. Kasi at the end of the day, ikaw yan. I mean, buhay mo yan eh. And we're we're not live we're not the ones living it. But what we can do is actually help you with new thought and awareness. Now, <laughs> ayan. So, uh, dito na tayo sa next topic natin, which is your super power, finding your super power. Uh, tell us, tell us, tell us more about it. Okay, so, uh, well, ano, yung super power naman. Uh, I think back to the remember the story that I mentioned a while ago. Um, you know, it's it, it's important. Medyo esoteric, esoteric yung concept, eh, no? parang superpower. Mm. Ito ba yan? Diba? <laughs> <laughs> Meron ba kayong pinaiinom dyan? Actually, hindi. Um, like anything, uh, I've, I've actually, well, not really formulated, no? but based on experience, uh, for, for the past years of working in Latin organizations, but also with individuals, na-discover ko, napansin ko, na ang tao talaga is after yung sinasabi nilang passion na parang gusto nila yung desire nila is you know we want to 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 work no in a place or in a situation or in a uh, in, in conditions where it doesn't feel like work you know mm-hmm. it's being what you're doing and i think everyone strives for that and there's nothing wrong with that no and para sa akin kaya yung dami diyan nag-explore ng passion nila in fact naiinggit tayo no we Hmm. We pare, you know, this person has definitely followed their passion. And for me, parang naging, naging overrated and hackneyed term siya. No? For, for me, I think passion uh, isn't just passion per se. If, if you're looking for something to make you really fulfilled, dapat dyan uh, merong equation. And yung equation na nakita ko na works really well is Yes, you can find your passion because your passion is what you're good at. Tama? Hmm. Ante yun, no? If you have specific talents, if you're good in, in speaking, if you're good in, in the arts, if you're good in entertainment, fine. But for some, no, minsan iniisip nila, nafufustrate sila kasi di ba yung dulo nun lagi is sana kumita ako with this passion. Money. Money, Money. pa rin. Hmm. Um yun yung problema. Pag hindi nila nakikitaan ng, oy, kikita ba ako dito? Um, nawawala na yung kanilang pag dun sa passion. Nawawala na yung drive nila. Kasi nga, at the end of it all, they, ang laging nangunguna nga is yung pera. Now, syempre, sasabihin ni ba, di ba di, meron nga ang kasabihan na, what if, for example, I gave you a million dollars or ten million dollars and mm. you would work for the rest of their life? What would you do? Definite people that would answer, you know, I'll follow my passion. Um, pero kung wala yung condition na yun, people would say, hindi, hindi na lang. You know, I'll, I'll do this. I'll, 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 I'll stay where I am right now. You know, I'll be in my comfort zone. Or kung umusog man ako, gusto ko siguristic ako. No? So, yun yung ano ko, yun napansin ko, is if you really stay in that equation of passion equals money, or mm. money that you can pursue your passion, mahirapan ka. I think mm-hmm. that's it, which is why nag ano kami nag coin kami ng parang term na superpower nga and for me the superpower has something to do with you 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 find out your passion what you're good at but you also at the same time find improvement areas or ways to improve yourself so that you can reach a certain goal so yun yung ano yun yung parang equation ng superpower hindi lang siya basta looking into your strengths hindi oh. kasi kung, kung, kung strengths lang yan, lahat naman tayo meron eh. Pero kailangan mahanap mo talaga, ano ba yung aayusin ko? 
like di ba sabi mo nga kanina pagdating sa feedback let go back to let's go back to the feedback again di ba ang hmm. na, ano yung improve natin hmm. you look for for what you're good at pero you also make sure that you also improve some things so that you know pertaining to a certain goal para nang sa ganun mas fulfilled ka and that's where that's where the i don't know the money follows or for that matter that's where uh you know the 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 rewards follow no kasi nga yun yung mindset mo instead of just plainly um aiming for for just passion and then money so yun yung ano noon yun yung parang pinaka essence ng superpower It's it's actually a formula. It's an equation. Mm. Yung yung sa akin kasi uh siguro years back I was I was really uh passionate about music. Mm. <laughs> music. Uh oh, so parang tugtog, gawa ka ng kanta mo. Uh yun yun eh. Kaso yun nga, passion siya. It it, it didn't ang dami, ang dami pa lang kailangan bilhin, gitara, mga amplifiers, ang dami, ang dami gastos and it required money. So I had to work when I started working doon na doon na nawawala yung passion ko kasi hindi ako napapakain nung passion ko noon. Yeah. It, it was just fun. It was just fun fulfilling, di ba? Pero yun nga, as as you go to reality, you would need money to survive. So I had to recalculate everything um and then ako ako sa akin hindi ko masasabing chambay na nahanap ko yung gusto kong gawin and at the same time I'm earning from it. Eh. Hindi ko masabing chambay. I, I worked for it and nagkataon na I was in a position na I was loving what I'm doing while getting paid doing it. <laughs> that's, that, that's the result already, di ba? Pero yung, oh. journey, yung journey mo para marating mo yan, si, yun eh, sinabi mo na kanina eh, you're, mm. you're passionate about music. Ganun din ako nun dati, puro tugtog lang yun nasa isip ko eh. Mm. But but the thing is, it gets eroded kasi nga, yung reality sets in na kailangan you make money, di ba? So, mm. Pero di ba, paano ka nakarating dyan sa that you're loving what you're doing? Yan na yung result. Nakita mo na kasi yung superpower mo. I'm sure at one point or the other, you discovered na you were good at one thing. Tama ba, sir? Di ba? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you were good at what? Organizing, uh, distilling thoughts, being able to speak, and mm. you yourself na okay parang magaling ako dito yeah pero meron ako mga pwede pang ayusin or itweak di ba and maybe that's the reason why in the first place you got into hypnosis or NLP and mm. where you are right now you're you're the SME in terms of that and you love what you're doing so yun yung naging resulta noon so yun yung sinasabi nating superpower it it has to be discovered hindi lang siya kumbaga hindi lang siya ay hindi magaling ako sa ganito no kasi ano <laughs> Di, di sana may banda tayo. <laughs> Oo, di ba? Pero ano, may, mayroon dito, George, is ito yung mga questions na, you know, I think you you made these questions. Uh, ask yourself, ito yung key questions. Basa ko dito. Uh, pwede natin isa-isa yun to sa mga listeners natin. Okay? Maybe we could help them. So, memorize mo ba to? Oh, ako na magsasabi. Hindi <laughs> ko mayroon, hindi ko dalahin notes eh. So. Oh, okay, sige, sige. So guys, uh, you could ask yourself these questions. Okay? I mean, as I was reading these, these questions earlier, uh, nakita ko yung effect nito kasi yung impact na magagawa niyo sa subconscious mind mo malakas. Okay? So if you have a pen and paper, pakisulat na lang. So first question, what do you enjoy doing? Okay, and your first question. Isipin mo muna yan, guys. Uh, what areas of work do you seem to get the best results for? Mm-hmm. Yeah, George, maybe you could explain that question. Yeah. Uh, when you say what areas in the uh, of your work do you get the best results for? Hindi lang yung hindi lang yung nag-enjoy ka. Ha? Make sure na yung ginagawa mo nakakapag-produce ng resulta na passive. Ibig sabihin, you're performing in that particular area. Sa ang area yon no? Alamin mo yon Kasi yun yung ano mo eh, yun yung foundation mo eh, na parang up, okay, jackpot. Dito ako magaling. Kasi hindi, remember, okay, uh, I think I haven't mentioned a while ago. Your results have to speak for themselves. no Ibig sabihin, hindi lang ikaw yung magsasabi na magaling ako. Mm. 
there has to be some proof. There has to be some credibility to it. No? Kaya nga, di ba, uso yung social proof. Mm. No? So, ibig sabihin, try to find out from your results in the past, ano ba yung nagkaroon talaga ng social proof? Ano ba talaga yung lumabas na nasabi na, uy, ang galing ng trabaho mo dito ah. Then usisain mo siya. Then you dissect it. Ano ba yung ginawa ko? Bakit, how were, was I able to turn out such good work? No? So yun. Yun yung ano. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng portion na yun. Mm, okay. So next question. Guys, take note ah. What activities do you do that make you feel strong? Okay, solid na question to. Oh, yeah, yeah, solid. Guys, yun nga, very important questions to. You could ask yourself and yeah, this this helps a lot eh. Okay. Yung strong also is siguro to contextualize it better. What what activity really makes you engaged? When you say engaged, no. Uh, yung tipong ano, kahit di ka matulog pare, ang sa- ginagawa mo siya wala kang pakialam. Kahit di ka kumain, di ka maligo. No? Dota, Ragnarok. <laughs> Mobile Legends. <laughs> no way. So, yun, you try to relate it. No? Ano yung ginagawa mo? Ako, eto, eto, bibigyan kita example, sir. Mm. I, 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 I play the guitar, but I suck in playing the guitar. As in, I suck. Hindi, hindi nga ako pwede maging rhythm guitarist eh. Mm. Make songs. I mean, mm. so doon ang ginawa, yun ang ginawa ko. Doon ako nagpuntirya. Doon, doon, ko, doon ko ginawa, you know, when, when I was younger, I used to make lots of songs, no? Uh, mm. without, siguro yung guitar ko, and, and some friends can probably attest, baka may nakikinig ngayon eh. Ang alam ko, you know, power chords lang, tapos tatlong chords lang. Pero oh, nakagawa ko. Makagawa ka na ng kanta doon. Makagawa ka na ng kanta. <laughs> Or ano, power chords ka lang, A. Eh. <laughs> Yun lang yung ano ko, yun lang yung pero doon ako nag nag-focus kasi if I were to focus my 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 it's okay. You know, some people can cut it, eh. some people can can persist eh, and hustle and de sige, galangan talaga gawin ko, galingan ko yung paggigitara ko para magaling ako ng gitarista. Pero if it's not if you feel na hindi nagpo-progress from there, try to take a look deeply. San ka ba talaga mas magaling? So mm. yun, pansin. Ah, mas magaling ako magsulat. Di, doon na lang ako. May gitarista naman eh. Oh, uh, tama. At least, uh, pwede ba natin masabi parang niche down? Niche down. Yeah, you can niche. Mm-hmm. That's correct. That's another term for it. You know, you niche mm-hmm. down. You, you try to drill down. Exactly. And and try to find out. no Kasi, pag hindi nga, ano, pag hindi ang ko para sa'yo. And, and again, no offense for people who don't give up. I, I mm-hmm. salute you guys. Pero, if you're in a, in, a, in a situation where you want to 10 times the speed of your progress, mm. mo, kung saan ka mo nagaling? Kung baga, discardihan mo na. Diba? Faster. But, if you like it, you're fe- having fun, nabang, yeah. you feel strong about it, uh, enthusiastic about it. I mean, andun yun eh. Lahat na nakita natin na, na nandun sa taas who are succeeding, loves what they're doing. May 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 mga bilang-bilang din na bad trip na sila doon sa ginagawa nila. Pero most of the people that make it are people who love what they're doing. Love what they're doing. They're willing to improve their craft because mm. they they have a goal to achieve. Mm. And, and, you know, they're they're at that flow. So, para sa akin... Sure. Yun, flow, pare. That's a strong word. Yeah, for you. Ang ganda yan. So, okay. next uh, question natin. What do you do? What do you find easy or something you regard as mere common sense that other people, that other persons find hard? Yan. Galing yan, pare. Kasi yan, di ba meron tayong mga innate abilities nga na hmm. like Mike, my son, alam mo sobrang kulit nun, pero pag, pag pinag-math mo yun, hmm. galing as in pang, pang college yung math niya. So, eh, he's only 10 years old. Hmm. So, that's an ability, di ba? Here's the thing. It may not be, even if you're so good at it, uh, you know, di ba may napapansin tayo nung dati, nung college tayo or nung high school tayo, yung mga tipong hindi nag-aaral. No, oh, pero pumapasa. Di ba? It makes it easy. They see, <laughs> it look easy. Victorian pa. Di ba? <laughs> pero you know, it doesn't mean na, syempre, mag-excel din sila sa academics or in life, no? but they have to find what made them 
become that. You know, so so you know, parang for them, what makes you answer those easy questions when others make make it, you know, for others it seems so difficult, no? So alamin mo yon, alamin mo yung yung area ng buhay mo na yon, and I'm sure it's e- it's going to be easy to to find your superpower. Oh, pare, I like that, because uh, looking at it, magaling ka nga, and then the intindihan mo pa kung bakit ka magaling at kung paano ka magaling. That could help you more para mas maging mas magaling. Awesome. <laughs> Di ba? Yun eh. Yun, very solid. Solid. Thanks for the insight, pare. Uh, next is, uh, yun. Do you, ano to? Is there a type of project or task that ignites your passion? Yeah. Motivates you and is something you could go on and on about? Yeah. I think that was, that, that, that connects to the third question, yun, you know? tirelessly without without batting an eyelash what would make you become like an energy bunny no and <laughs> tuloy-tuloy pero wala akong pakialam pero kasi pare okay tong ginagawa ko okay tong ginagawa ko and yun if if you get to and i'm sure each and every person has that uh don't only yun lang ang advice ko don't focus lang on the task per se mm. all think of the thoughts that go behind that task. When I say, for example, magaling ka magluto. Diba? Mm. Magaling magluto. Uh, pwede mo sabihin, you know, uh, uy, magaling ako, magsha-chef na lang ako. Diba nauso yung culinary arts? Oo, oh, nauso yun. Mga two years ago, mga ganun. Uh, nauso yung kurso na yan. Kasi nga parang, yung iba dyan, yeah, galing ako magluto. Pero pare, actually, hindi yun yung titignan mo eh. You go deeper. Mm. Hindi lang yung magaling magluto. Bakit ka magaling magluto? Siguro it might be tama yung pag-organize mo, tama yung pagtimpla mo, pa- tama yung pag- ingredients mo, yeah. Tama yung ingredients, tama yung pakikipag uh, tama yung sukat, yung metrics saka yung measurement mo. If you're hmm. able to ano, to 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 really write that down. Lilitaw kung saan ka talaga magaling. Tama? <laughs> I I I I'll pare oh I'll, honest to goodness I'll I'll do this uh, questions kasi uh, I was talking to Mel the other day and tinatanong niya ako eh I mean in regards to branding it's also important that you you have specifics kung ano yun eh di ba yun yung importante sa branding kung ano yung direction ng brand mo mm-hmm. and I, I'll I'll be honest I I I I have a lot of things in my mind that I think I could do well So, yeah. um, oh, and and dami, and dami ko. Ay, kailangan kaya ko naman 'yan. Ay ginagawa ko rin 'yan eh. Uh, ano ba eh? I think I'm good at a lot of things. Pero ang problema is if you're good at a lot of things, you're you're targeting everyone, you're not hitting any 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 person. That's okay. Oh, so um what what I'm trying to do and this is very timely of of uh, na, nababasa ko to ngayon kasi this questions really could be specific to your growth. Detrimental. <laughs> Detrimental. Ayan. The last question natin. Do you find that there is a particular theme or topic that people come to you with? Yan. Or seek you uh, seek, uh, seek you consult about? Ayan. Kung, kung, okay mapapansin, na consult. kung mapapansin mo na let's say people come to you because may problema sila sa love life nila. Hmm. It may not be, you know, it may not be by chance. Baka nga talagang magaling ka doon, di ba? Or, you know, people consult with you because meron silang kailangan ayusin in terms of uh, legal problems or whatever. I mean, whatever that is, people come to you and ask for your help. You know, um, ako, I've realized that. Personal experience of mine. Kung tatanungin mo ko, saan ako magaling? Hmm. Siguro sabi ko, magaling ako sa pagkonekta ng tao. Or for that matter, pag pakikipag-network sa tao. Yun. Uh, I, I connect ideas with people. So, I have a certain idea and then I have uh, people that I know and people look for me because of that type of talent or for that matter, that 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 way of doing things na, na tingin ko magaling ako. So, yun. Yun yung ginagawa din, no? To be able <laughs> to expand uh, whatever I'm doing right now. no? So, Um, I mean, siguro pinalad lang din ako ng Diyos na uh, for the past couple of years na I, I jumped in from corporate to consulting, hindi naman ako nawawalan ng kliyente. I have like 
may dumadating, may minsan mga tumatanggi na nga ako eh kasi sa sobrang dami na nang ginagawa. And because I'm capitalizing on my strength, no? I have mm-hmm. I use my ideas, my experience plus my connecting uh, to be able to to be able to get yung these opportunities. So I guess people everyone should 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 find that intersection para nang sa ganun makapagano sila ma, ma, makita nila kung saan talaga sila nagsha-shine tama ang uh, mention uh, that all ako kanina while iniisip ko yung pinupuntahan ka ng kaibigan mo dahil ay ikaw yung bahay para sa inuman so baka magaling ka sa inuman <laughs> ito 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 nakakatawa to point out ko lang ah tama eh okay ang ganda <laughs> Ang gusto ko example, pinupuntahan ka dahil sa inuman. Pero pare, try to dig deeper. Bakit ka nila pinupuntahan? Hindi kaya dahil masaya sila sa presence mo? Mm. Hindi ah. masarap yung atmosphere na nakikreate mo for them? And maybe that's your strength. It's not exactly the inuman. It's probably mm. able to bring people together or probably entertain them. Hindi natin alam. Ako, pumupunta ako lang dati sa barkada ko kasi saya nila kasama eh. Tama. Y- bangga doon ang galing magsalita eh yun yung strength niya so mm. yun yung no no those you, you have to dive deeper no yun na nga eh, para makita mo yung superpower mo <laughs> guys ano we're we're uh, solid ng mga napag-usapan natin na topics today and uh, we we're, we're here always to to share information and experiences and of course learnings so uh Comment lang kayo. Okay? We're, we're always open here to to share. Uh, me and George, uh, nag-usap naman kami kanina na um, any, we'll be talking more about uh, a lot of deeper stuff probably in the future. Uh, ang nakita, nakita ko naman nung kahit, this is the second time pala guys na nag-usap kami ni George online. Kasi first is uh, meron kaming uh, parang project no sa Social Media Academy uh, nag, nag, nag-usap na rin kami doon kasi parang uh, he wrote something doon sa isang group namin and it was just an experience it, it's actually it's his story so after his after reading his story doon ako na parang teka lang I should also create content na magsulat din kasi hindi lang sa obligado pero I, hindi sa ano eh I want to also Share, I also have the experience. I also have the learning. So, ano yung pipigil sa'yo? Kumari ikaw na nanonood dito, ano yung pumipigil sa'yo para gawin yung mga gusto mong gawin? We're all humans and we're all capable of doing a lot of stuff. Okay? Ang, 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 ang importante dyan is yun nga, kaya natin pinag-usapan itong superpower ngayon is to find, hindi lang find yourself eh. Hindi lang find what, where or what you're good at eh. Find whatever makes you happy. Isa yun. Di ba? <laughs> Bigat, man. Happy. Bigats, man. So, uh, George, um, it's, it's a super wonderful, nice, nice session. Uh, any any words or anything that you want to promote or share sa ating mga viewers ngayon? Um, okay. So, I'm we're, I'm currently a, uh, you know, for, for my own ano, personal, ano, is I do Lego Serious Play facilitation. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, if, if you have an organization or a company that needs uh, some guidance, no, uh, you can actually search it in Google and obey Lego Serious Play. Uh, we use Lego blocks to be able to deconstruct an organization and the people behind it. And then, ang dami siyang pwedeng paggawan. No? Pwede mong gamitin for team building, pwede mong gamitin for conflict resolution, pwede mo siyang gamitin for project planning, um, brainstorm. Mm-hmm. So, ang dami siyang pwedeng pag And, you know, you, you may want to invite me. I can give you a short demo uh, so that we can, you know, show you what it looks like. So, that's one thing that I'm doing. Pero, syempre, I also have uh, this project nga. It's an advocacy, as I mentioned. And thank you for featuring me, Ken Ken. Um, yun nga, yung, yung finding the superpower. Kasi nga, parang, eh, kaya nga medyo nagtataka siguro yung audience natin kanina. Teka muna, bakit ka nag-start sa feedback tapos nilagay mo sa office politics tapos superpower? Bakit? Mm. Well, actually, all of them are connected. It all begins with growth. No? We're, as you've mentioned nga kanina, mm. everyone is here 
I'm sure all our viewers were all here to grow. And the best way to actually grow is to acknowledge and have that openness and willingness that you mm-hmm. want so that by then you'd be able that the tools will open up and whatever path that you will take or things that will be given to you to help you will open up no kasi nga may openness ka so again that's the reason kung bakit natin kinonek rin yon no uh, from feedback being able to to understand what you need to improve your awareness self awareness how you can apply it to the office to the organization your life perhaps and at the end of the day your passion no so yon yun yung advocacy namin uh, how do you actually understand and unleash your superpower so yun lang yeah. Yeah. <laughs> super super thanks oh sa akin guys um i'm happy oh, i'm i'm very happy for this session hindi lang sa dahil we're doing a facebook live hindi um we 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 are doing this so that not just para matuto rin kayo it's also for me to learn also uh, iba-iba yung mga guests natin on every session we're we're talking about hypnotherapy last time hr uh, office politics diba hypnosis next yung mga spirituality because ano eh, ang daming factors sa buhay natin that we want to hindi naman to understand Okay. So I hope uh, this uh, this helps a lot with your journey to growth. And we, me and George, thank you for joining us <laughs> this night. And ha- holiday bukas, George. Holiday bukas. Yeah. Holiday bukas. So again, if you're watching this on a replay, type mo lang di sa ba, Team Replay. And we hope to see you again on the next episode of Inside the Mind of Again, we have George Ramos here. Hi, George. Say bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. 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 Hi, guys. So, again, again uh, my name is Ken Ken Sumera, and these are my thoughts. Have a good night. Bye.